A magazine journalist's relaxing week with her boyfriend turns chaotic when a work emergency causes her to get stranded on a deserted island with a grumpy pilot. In the busy city of New York, the ambitious Robin Munro serves as an assistant editor at Dazzle, a fashion magazine. As she steps into the office, her boss, Marjorie, expresses frustration over incorrect ad layouts. Upon reaching her desk later, the woman is pleasantly surprised by a bouquet from her boyfriend, who had just arrived from London. The flowers come with a dinner invitation to a lavish venue and a playful request to bring the hula doll along. That night, Robin meets Frank Martin at a Polynesian restaurant, where he unveils another surprise. They'll have a six-day, seven-night vacation to Macasia, a captivating island in the South Pacific. The following morning at the airport, he directs his girlfriend to locate the charter while he attends to their bags. Soon after, the woman encounters Quinn Harris, the pilot tasked with transporting them to the island via a vintage de Havilland beaver. After examining the plane's condition, the traveler hesitates to board immediately. However, her boyfriend reassures her, highlighting their journey's safety under a trained professional's guidance. After wearing life vests, the couple awaits takeoff. Surprisingly, Quinn's friend Angelica joins them on the flight, sharing stories of the island's beauty and mentioning her past life there. Safely reaching Macasia, the pair checks in at the charming inn, warmly greeted by the general manager, Philippe. Having settled in their room, they step outside and Robin is captivated by the breathtaking beach view. She expresses her reluctance to leave, and in response, Frank assures her that they are in for an unforgettable vacation. Strolling along the beach that night, Frank greets his girlfriend with a happy anniversary marking three years since they first met. Soon after, he surprises her with a heartfelt marriage proposal, which she happily accepts. Later at the bar, a drunken Quinn notices Robin alone and approaches her, attempting to flirt and offering to buy her a drink. Sensing the situation, a jealous Frank intervenes, interrupting their moment and gracefully excusing himself with his fiancée. The following day, the assistant magazine editor receives a call from Marjorie concerning a work emergency. The superior advises her employee to temporarily leave Macasia and head to Tahiti to oversee a photo shoot for their magazine cover. Despite her reluctance to leave her fiancée, Robin ultimately agrees with her boss's request. Shortly afterward, she seeks Quinn's assistance in getting to Tahiti for $700. Upon learning of his fiancée's sudden side trip, Frank is upset, prompting her to reassure him that she will only be gone for a day. During the flight, Quinn inquires about Robin's job, unfamiliar with the magazine. To provide context, she shows him a sample of the material. Suddenly, a heavy storm ensues, causing concern for the pilot. Back on the island, Frank experiences loneliness in his partner's absence. He watches a dance performance alone, drawn to the beautiful Angelica on stage. Meanwhile, Quinn attempts to call someone from the flight service station for a weather update. However, the line becomes choppy, and he soon loses contact. Concerned, the pilot suggests returning to Macasia due to the inclement weather, deeming it not worth the risk. Upon hearing Quinn's decision, Robin feels stressed and takes anti-anxiety medication. Suddenly lightning strikes and damages the aircraft, frying the radios and emergency location transmitter. Realizing they cannot maintain altitude, the pilot urgently calls for help. On the other hand, having taken several tablets, the passenger tries to use the radio and adopts the role of a supermarket announcer. Quinn soon spots a nearby island and decides to crash land there for safety. Unfortunately, the plane hits a rock, resulting in the crumpling of one wheel. Luckily, he and his passenger are unharmed. Waking up the following day, Robin is surprised to find herself on an unknown island between Macasia and Tahiti. Concerned about the plane's poor condition, she asks the pilot to fix it. However, Quinn implies that he is unable to do so. The woman then grabs her phone, hoping to call for rescue. Unfortunately, the area's reception is poor. The older man then approaches her, enlightening her about their situation. He explains that rescuers might struggle to locate them, and reveals he has only one flare gun. He also clarifies that they might be stranded on the island for a long time. Hearing this, an upset Robin demands her $700 back. Quinn returns $300 and tears the next dollar, justifying it by stating that he at least brought her halfway. Annoyed the assistant magazine editor hurries to the aircraft. While rummaging through the supplies inside she discovers a life raft. Suggesting its use for escape, the pilot points out that their location is unknown, and floating around the ocean in an inflatable boat is not a good idea. In the struggle over the raft, Robin accidentally pulls the cord, causing the boat to inflate and trapping her inside the plane. Seeking Quinn's help, he agrees to release her, but only if she stops acting like a lunatic. In Macasia, Frank receives a call from Marjorie informing him that his fiancée never reached Tahiti. Concerned, the man reaches out to the general manager who contacts the island to confirm whether Quinn's aircraft has landed. Suddenly Angelica shows up, affirming through their mutual friend that the pilot hasn't touched down on the island. Faced with the realization that their loved ones are missing, the two organize a search party with the help of other pilots. While Quinn and Robin strive to survive on the island, they discover a waterfall to quench their thirst. In her serene spot, the woman is captivated by the sight of a rainbow. However, her moment is abruptly interrupted when a pig emerges, prompting her to retreat into the water. 
As the pilot shoes the animal away, Robin senses something swimming up her shorts. As she panics, Quinn instructs her to stand still as he reaches out to the mysterious creature, revealing it as a fish. Grateful, the woman thanks him, and they begin to get along. Later that day, the man conceals himself among some plants and approaches the peacocks, intending to cook them for dinner. Following this, the survivors engage in conversation while savoring their delicious dinner. Curiosity sparks within Robin, and she inquires about Quinn's background, wondering if he has always been a pilot. The older man shares that he spent much of his adult life flying. Before that, he was a successful businessman but threw all that away when he discovered a more fulfilling way of life. As they prepare to call it a night they marvel at the clear starry sky, and the pilot comments on the stark contrast to the view above the polluted New York. Robin sleeps inside the aircraft while the older man settles down on the blanket he laid on the sand. The following morning, the woman wakes up to the sound of a plane, believing it might be rescuers, she promptly notifies the pilot, suggesting they use the flare gun. However, when the intoxicated man doesn't wake up, she takes the gun from his shorts and unintentionally aims it at the palm tree, igniting a fire. This impulsive action awakens and upsets the pilot, who explains that the plane Robin saw was a commercial aircraft, and it wouldn't notice their signal as it's flying 5 miles high at 600 miles per hour. As a result, they engage in an argument. Quinn scolds Robin for wasting their only signal, while the woman blames the pilot for the crash landing on an unknown island. Meanwhile, Frank and Angelica join the search party, scouring the ocean. He grows increasingly anxious, but the woman assures him that wherever their missing loved ones are, Quinn is looking out for Robin. On the island, Quinn and Robin climb a hill to search for a signal beacon. Along the way the ground cracks, causing them to fall. Undeterred they continue their quest to find the signal beacon. The pilot devises a plan to deactivate it, anticipating a repair crew's dispatch, ultimately leading to their discovery. However, even with a guide, he gets the signal beacon's location wrong, leading to frustration. After Quinn breaks down, Robin attempts to boost his confidence, emphasizing its crucial role in survival. Descending the hill, the woman notices movement in the ocean. With binoculars in hand, the pair discovers a boat, sparking hope for a potential rescue. Following this, the pilot shares his plan to head to the water and follow the vessel using their raft. In the evening the survivors utilize their inflatable boat, alternating turns and rowing. During their journey the following day, Robin questions Quinn about Angelica, and he clarifies that she is a friend who works at the hotel for a few months each year. He acknowledges having someone in his life previously, but complications arose when she fell in love with his best friend. Rather than responding with anger, he graciously gave them his blessing. Nevertheless, his ex and best friend's relationship ended after he sold half his business to obtain a plane and embark on a new beginning. Suddenly their conversation is interrupted as Robin spots two nearby boats instead of one. Curious, the pilot peers through the binoculars and realizes that the individuals in the ship are pirates who have raided the other vessel, causing harm and tossing its occupants into the ocean. Quickly on his feet, Quinn hastily rows backward to avoid being seen. Despite their efforts, the sea thief notices them from a distance and soon uses a motorboat to chase them. Recognizing the danger, Robin and the pilot panic, intensifying their rowing. Unfortunately, the pirates open fire, driving the pair to plunge into the ocean and abandon their raft. Swimming desperately, they reach the shore and immediately ascend a hill to escape the bad guys. Shortly afterward, the pilots devise a strategy that they run in opposite directions. Soon, Quinn successfully disarms one of the pirates by tripping him with a log, but despite their efforts, the men eventually overpower them and threaten to end their lives. Desperate for their lives to be spared, Robin resorts to deception, tricking the pirates that they possess gold and that she works as a jewelry designer. She fabricates a story about having valuable gemstones on their boat, asserting they are expanding their business in the Far East. Upon hearing this, the pirates believe their story and insist on being taken to their vessel. Seizing the opportunity, the duo leads the men, only to escape by intentionally falling from the hill. They continue running until reaching the edge of the cliff. Quinn decides to jump, but Robin is too frightened. Swiftly the pilot kisses her and throws her into the ocean before joining her. With the survivors submerged in the water, the pirates cannot locate them, eventually giving up on the pursuit. In Magadia, Frank is devastated over losing Robin and openly professes his love for her. In response, Angelica counters, asserting that men often struggle to comprehend the true essence of love. Upon reaching the shore, Quinn attempts to share a romantic moment with Robin but stops when he realizes she's engaged. That evening, the duo tries to look for another place to stay. The pilot suggests avoiding a return to the camp, as the pirates might quickly locate them there due to their damaged aircraft. Later, as they venture into the jungle, they encounter a Japanese World War II float plane stuck in a tree. For the night, the pair decides to stay in the area. That night in Magadia, Frank accompanies the slightly intoxicated Angelica to her bungalow, reminding her of their early morning meeting to resume the search. In response, she expresses uncertainty about waking up so early. Sensing her imbalance the man inquires if she's feeling okay, but she insists on showering. As she removes her clothing, Angelica provocatively invites him to stay the night, 
however he declines her advances and exits the room. Quinn opens up to Robin in the jungle, expressing his enjoyment of kissing her, and she reciprocates the sentiment. However, she worries that she might find it difficult to stop if she does it again. Understanding her concern, the pilot invites Robin to sleep by his side, prompting her to express her safety in his arms. While the woman drifts off to sleep, Quinn gazes at the old Japanese aircraft, and a creative idea comes to mind. The following day, he uses tools to detach the plane's pontoons. Meanwhile, Philippe knocks on Angelica's bungalow to inform her that the search helicopter will depart in 20 minutes. Upon her return inside, she wakes Frank, who turns out to have changed his mind and ultimately spent the night with her. The man quickly realizes he made a mistake, but Angelica justifies that it's okay, given their challenging circumstances. On the island, the duo returns to the camp carrying the pontoons from the old Japanese plane. Robin becomes more captivated by Quinn, impressed by his survival skills and confidence. Along the way, the pilot shares his story about his 12-year marriage. The woman then inquires if Quinn has children, to which he responds with relief that he does not have them with his ex-wife but expresses his desire to have a bunch of them. Hearing this, she smiles and cheers for him, stating there's still time. Robin then inquires about Quinn's age, but he whispers it to her, prompting her to comment that he still looks attractive. In Magadia, Frank feels guilty about sleeping with Angelica, who casually points out that he's a guy and can't help it. Suddenly Philippe arrives to relay the news that the search has been called off. Meanwhile, Quinn and Robin finally return to the camp and utilize ropes to hoist their plane, attaching the pontoons beneath it in an attempt to depart the island. However, as they are on the verge of taking off, the pirates catch them and open fire. Regrettably, the pilot gets hit, and the woman carries him back to the plane. Despite his injury, Quinn manages to start the plane. Just before colliding with the pirate ship, they successfully take off. As the escapees soar over the vessel, the bad guys continue to fire at them but end up unintentionally sinking their boat. During the flight, the injured pilot instructs the woman on how to control the plane before he passes out. In Magadia, everyone assumes that Quinn and Robin have tragically perished and hold a memorial service in honor of their presumed demise. Suddenly, a guilty Frank interrupts the priest, feeling sorry for his sin. The pilot loses consciousness during the flight, prompting Robin to take over. Eventually, she spots the island, capturing the attention of the people below. Remembering Quinn's instructions, Robin starts to slow down, guiding the plane to a water landing. Upon impact, she wakes up the pilot, joyfully informing him that they have successfully made it back to Makatea. Following this Frank rushes to the aircraft to rescue his fiancée, and Quinn finally receives prompt medical attention. Back in their room, the man prepares tea for his girlfriend, and subtly expresses his guilt for misbehaving, under the mistaken belief that she had passed away. After feeling better, the woman visits the pilot at the clinic, confronting him about their relationship on the island. He acknowledges they had something special but points out that they lead different lives, and she deserves someone fresher. Teary-eyed, Robin accepts the older man's decision and wishes him good luck before leaving. At the airport the following day, she tells her fiancé that she thinks they shouldn't get married with something hanging over their heads. Suddenly the guilty man apologizes, revealing that he slept with Angelica, mistakenly thinking that his fiancé was referring to that incident. However, Robin clarifies that she developed feelings for Quinn and returns the engagement ring to him. After calling it quits, they board the plane heading to New York. Meanwhile, Quinn changes his mind and decides to pursue Robin. He lands at the airport runway in a helicopter and chases after the commercial plane, only to realize it's too late. Seconds later, he encounters Robin, who turns out to have disembarked from the plane before it took off. Upon their reunion, Robin questions Quinn about his decision to follow her, prompting him to imply that he also has romantic feelings for her. After their passionate kiss, the couple discusses spending time together at Quinn's small beach shack. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.